Welcome back everybody to Life in Louisville. I'm Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining to you some of our neighborhoods closest to downtown Louisville, Kentucky. So if you're moving to Louisville, this is a video you won't want to miss. Let's jump right in. Before we zoom in on the city of Louisville, let's zoom out a little bit within our country to see where Louisville is situated. To the north, we have Indianapolis, Indiana. If you come down to the northeast a little bit, we have Cincinnati, Ohio. Directly to the east of us is Lexington, Kentucky. To the south, we have Nashville, Tennessee. And to the west, we have St. Louis, Missouri. So Louisville, Kentucky is located right in the midst of the United States in between all of those major cities. Now let's zoom in a little bit further into Louisville, Kentucky. If you look at the city, it kind of is laid out like a wagon wheel. We have a smaller circle and a larger circle, and then a lot of spokes sticking out of the wagon wheel. To the north of us is the Ohio River, which is our border to the state of Indiana. And that first and smaller circle is called the Watterson Expressway 264. Locals here will refer to it as the Watterson. The larger circle is 265 which is the Gene Snyder Expressway, which we refer to as the Gene Snyder. So now that you have a pretty good idea of how the city is laid out with these concentric circles and wagon wheel spokes, let's zoom in on just the area of Louisville that's within the Watterson Expressway. So let's start with downtown Louisville. Downtown Louisville does not actually have too many people living in that area, but there is a lot to do. We have lots of varied museums, we have Performing Arts Center, we have a lot of restaurants to visit, Nightlife is there in 4th Street Live. Now I will tell you, not a ton of locals are going to 4th Street Live, but a lot of times when people are coming into town for conventions, they will definitely check out that 4th Street Live area. We also have quite a few museums. We have the 21C Art Museum, we have the Kentucky Science Center, Muhammad Ali Museum, the Slugger Factory Museum. There's a lot to see and do right within downtown. There's also a lot of casual eateries as well as some fine dining. So if you're living in Louisville or coming to visit, definitely check out downtown for all of these fun activities. Just to the east of downtown is our East Market District, which we call New Lou, which stands for New Louisville. This is an area that the city has really developed over the last 10 years. They've worked really hard at doing that. It looks really great and it's become quite a hip and urban environment. There are a lot of specialty shops, antique shops, vintage clothing stores, women's boutiques. There's a lot of fun shopping down there. There's also some amazing restaurants. It ranges from craft beers to casual barbecue and all the way to upscale fine dining. If you are gonna be in that area, be sure to check out Feast Barbecue. They have a great bourbon slushie and their barbecue is absolutely delicious down there. Thrillist has actually ranked Nulu as one of our top 18 best neighborhoods for food in the United States. A little further to the east is our Clifton and Crescent Hill neighborhoods. Now this is definitely becoming more residential, but it does have a city feel. Clifton, the houses are pretty close together and definitely feels more like an urban living environment. And then just to the east of that neighborhood is Crescent Hill. The homes start to space out just a little bit with slightly bigger yards, but definitely still a walkable area and has a urban city feel. Crescent Hill is truly a charming neighborhood with tree-lined streets and beautiful architecture, historic homes. There's a lot to see there. Right along these two neighborhoods is Frankfurt Avenue. It's a place to go for interesting shops and cuisine. There's a lot of different ethnic cuisines on that street as well, but it is one of our main streets in Louisville that people go for restaurants and shopping. Lastly, you'll want to make sure you check out the Crescent Hill Reservoir, which was made in 1879, and it's a Gothic style architecture. So a lot of people that live in the Crescent Hill neighborhood will go down there after work to walk around the reservoir. The neighborhood that's our furthest east to the Watterson Expressway is St. Matthews. Now Louisville is interesting because it is incorporated as a city, but there's so many of these smaller cities within Jefferson County in the city of Louisville. One of those is St. Matthews, Kentucky. It has a population of just over 18,000. It is a wonderful place to live. It's a lot more residential. We have a lot of families with young children living there. 
A lot of people are attracted to that area. The homes tend to be a little bit older and more historic, so there is a lot of opportunity to fix up houses and renovate houses in that area. It is a clean, quiet, and safe area. Next, let's head back towards downtown to a neighborhood just south of downtown, our Highlands neighborhood. Now this is one of our most interesting and eclectic neighborhoods in Louisville. The two main roads that go through it are Bardstown Road and Baxter Avenue. Bardstown Road is called Restaurant Row here in Louisville. There are so many restaurants to choose from, great and delicious food. It's also very eccentric and eclectic area. You'll see all different kinds of people there. Walking down Bardstown Road, you'll see a businessman, you'll see a family, you'll see a more artistic type person and creative people. All sorts of people are coming and flocking to Bardstown Road. The areas surrounding Bardstown Road are beautiful neighborhoods that have Victorian style homes and turn of the century architecture. These homes also are being restored and fixed up. You know, a lot of families, as people have children, they tend to move out east, but I'm partial to the Highlands. I've actually chosen to keep my family here in the city, and we really enjoy living in this area. One neighborhood over from the Highlands is the Germantown Schnitzelberg area. Now, in the last few years, this has become a very popular area for young people wanting to live closer to the city. Germantown is one of our oldest neighborhoods here in Louisville, and it's actually named after all the German immigrants who came here in the early 1800s. It is most noted and well known for its shotgun and camelback style homes. So if you're not familiar with these types of homes, they're just long, skinny houses. They're very close together. When I first moved here about 11 or 12 years ago, my husband and I considered living in Germantown, but the floor plan of the shotgun style house was just, it threw me off. I just couldn't understand it. I was used to more of a traditional layout. So many people are moving into these homes, renovating them, changing some of the layouts, and some people love the layout of a shotgun style home. It basically just goes from room to room to room. There tends not to be a central hallway, so you might go from the dining room into the bedroom into the kitchen, but it's just a long, you know, narrow home. But it is a really fun area to live. Around the corner is a coffee shop and bar almost around every corner. A lot of great walkable areas there as well. I would recommend checking out Monic or Atrium Brewing. There's also Four Pegs in that area, Post Pizza, so many great little eateries down there. And um, a lot of younger people are moving into this area as well, but there's really a mix of this, the old and the new, where there's people who for generations, their family has lived there living next to young people who are coming in to live near the city. Our next area is located near Churchill Downs in the University of Louisville. Now it might surprise you, when you think of Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby, you might think of the state of Kentucky and these beautiful rolling green hills and horse country. But that's not when you get what you get when you come to Churchill Downs. The area surrounding Churchill Downs is actually a little bit rough, so a lot of people are surprised when they come to the Kentucky Derby that the surrounding areas of Churchill Downs is not actually all that beautiful in comparison to what you might think it would be. The University of Louisville is located just north of Churchill Downs. A lot of student population live there. There's a lot of rentals in that area as well, which makes sense since it's located near the university. The last neighborhood we want to discuss is Old Louisville. Now this is a really neat historic neighborhood in Louisville. It's actually the largest collection of restored Victorian homes in the United States. We have 48 city blocks of these homes and it's absolutely beautiful. So if you love larger, older homes, this might be an area you would want to consider living. If you're just coming for a visit though, be sure to stop by Central Park. You can get some information from the visitor center where you can go on an architectural walking tour. If you enjoy and appreciate architecture, you're gonna see a lot of different examples of it in the old Louisville neighborhood. It is a really neat place to live and some of these homes are truly amazing and beautiful. Another great time to visit that area is during the St. James Art Festival. There's also the Shakespeare Festival. There's quite a few different festivals and activities that you can do in Old Louisville. So it's a neighborhood that you'll wanna check out. If you're in Old Louisville, you might consider eating at 610 Magnolia. It's one of our famous restaurants here in Louisville because the chef and owner Edward Lee is there and he has won the James Beard Award. He is a famous chef and that restaurant is delicious. I hope this video has been helpful to you learning about some of the neighborhoods closest to downtown Louisville, Kentucky. If you're interested in more information about what life is like in Louisville, be sure to subscribe to my channel. 
And if you're moving to Louisville, please watch my video, Moving to Louisville, Kentucky, 12 Things You Need to Know. Also watch out for future videos where I'll discuss some of the neighborhoods that are a little bit further out from downtown. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.